Blue Smart, a comparatively newer player in the ride hailing industry, is getting a lot of love from the elites and people in the NCR region. On the other hand, people are extremely dissatisfied with Ola and Uber. How did Blue Smart win over the hearts of people? Who are the people running Blue Smart? How does it do business? These are a few of the questions we'll be answering in this video. So watch the video till the very end. Have you ever had to hear these sentences? Bhaiya, hum maha nahi ja paenge. Mai wa please cancel kar dijiye. Mai cancel nahi karunga. Or face the issues of surge pricing while going to office in the morning or returning home in the evening. Cancellation of rides and surge pricing along with lack of rides, long waiting times and drivers denying payment methods are a few of the issues that the majority of the people face in India while booking taxis from giants such as Ola and Uber. All these issues led to the start of Blue Smart, an all electric shared mobility platform. Blue Smart was started by two people, Anmol Singh Jaggi, CEO and co-founder, and Puneet Goyal, co-founder, and they were later joined by three other co-founding team members, Anirudh Arun, Tushar Garg and Rishabh Sood. who are chief operating officer chief business officer and chief technology officer respectively you might have often heard that founders must build a low cost mvp to validate their idea but how to go about that the team had a brilliant plan before launching their own app they were using uber's platform in 2019 and early 2020 for providing cab booking services in mumbai as you can see from a customer's review after booking a uber premium taxi service in mumbai this was even confirmed by anmol jaggi as stated in a recent forbes article but it was not going to be easy to compete with ola and uber and hence they differentiated with features such as zero cancellation policy zero surge pricing and excellent service but couldn't ola and uber do the same with their drivers by implementing zero cancellation policy and other features they could not you see In Ola and Uber, drivers own the cars, whereas in Blue Smart, the company owns the cars and drivers are employed. Hence, even if Ola and Uber wanted their drivers to pick up every customer, they can't as the driver owner can easily deny it as they are the owners. Not just this, but they also introduced extremely needed features such as zero surge policy, completely sanitized cars during COVID, etc to gain traction and popularity. This was evident from the great reviews they received. But Ola and Uber were not the only hurdles they had to face in their journey. They not only had to lay up charging infrastructure in appropriate places so that their cars don't run out of battery, but are not high enough that they run out of capital. Hence they decided to move city by city. Initially, they launched in Delhi in 2019 and very recently in 2022 after 3 years they launched in Bangalore. All this meant they needed capital and a lot of it mainly for th- four things buying cars setting up charging infrastructure employing drivers and employing the core team going up against ola and uber was insane and the same was perceived in the investor community as well nobody will take a bet on you was a loud voice from naysayers as stated in their forbes interview but they found early backing as they raised their first round of capital of about 2.2 million dollars or 15 crores in 2019 from angel investors the very famous bollywood female actor deepika padukone also invested in blue smart as they proved their business and grew further they found more capital to grow even further and they raised 7 million dollars or 51 crores in pre series a funding in 2020 and then raised 25 million dollars or 200 crores in series a funding led by bp ventures which was considered to be a very high funding round in the country's ev sector they are currently in talks to raise 250 million dollars or 2000 crores in series b funding according to a your story article so where are they now they started with 42 trips on day 1 and are now averaging 17000 trips a day by november 19 they had 145 cars which quickly grew to 3000 plus cars by november 2022 and they are targeting 5000 cars by march 2023 they have also partnered with geo bp a joint venture between mukesh ambani's reliance industries and bp ventures where geo bp has agreed to set up charging infrastructure across india now let's try to understand how blue smart earns its revenues and how it has been able to grow it consistently now 
the annual revenue of blue smart is equals to number of active cars on the platform times daily revenue for blue smart from one car times 365 let's tackle each parameter one by one number of cars on the platform they need capital for this this is where i admire the smartness and boldness of the founders instead of giving up equity percentage of their company they found unique ways to fund their cars they received a loan of 267.67 crores in march 2022 from ireda indian renewable energy development agency limited to fund 3000 cars before that they launched the blue assure program where individuals of fund houses with money would fund the cars and get 90% of funding for the cars from banks and in turn would receive 60% of their investment from blue smart and as they grew and they are larger now funding capital for cars is not going to be much of a problem hence capital needed to increase cars on the platform solved let's look at the other parameter daily revenue for blue smart from one car we can further divide daily revenue for blue smart from one car into average daily kilometer driven times average price per kilometer but the kilometer driven on a trip is lower than the total kilometer driven as the driver drives alone to pick up the next guest he needs to charge go home etc etc we can assume out of the total kilometer driven 25% is the extra kilometer without earning any money therefore daily revenue from one blue smart car equals to daily average kilometer driven into 75% into average price per kilometer i had taken a screenshot from blue smart app and this is the pricing chart that they have shown there on their app from the above pricing chart and from the fact that you have to book blue smart beforehand we can assume that majority of the rides were intercity and thus a good possibility under 20 km range hence let's assume safely 10% of the rides are from 0 to 5 km 25% of the rides are from 5 to 10 and 10 to 15 km and other 20% rides are from 15 to 20 km and for the rest we can assume equal distribution so all in all the average price per km driven comes out to be 24.5 rupees per km hence daily revenue for blue smart from one car equals to average daily km driven times 75% times 24.5 By talking to many drivers it is seen that a driver typically drives 100 to 200 km on an average day so let's assume 150 km fitting into the formula daily revenue for blue smart from one car comes out to about 2756 rupees hence we see that only three parameters that determine the revenue for blue smart are the number of cars average daily km driven and percentage of km driven with passengers Blue Smart must work on maximizing all these three. Let's see how are they doing these one by one. The number of cars. They need more capital or loan and partnership with car companies to increase the number of cars. In 2019, they initially partnered with Mahindra to add 500 Mahindra E Verito sedans by 2020. In 2021, Tata Motors partners with Blue Smart Mobility to expand its all electric fleet in Delhi and CR. where as part of the deal tata motors will deliver 3500 express t evs to blue smart mobility next average daily kilometer driven they cannot have idle cars and thus they need to employ more drivers per car so that if one driver is un- unavailable another can cover from him they are actively hiring more drivers and have developed a separate blue smart driver app where they have 10000 plus downloads and finally percentage of kilometer driven with passengers for this they need a better and more efficient route planning for the upcoming riders this they are doing by hiring a competent team and as the cars are electric they also need more charging hubs to manage the charging cycles of the cars for this jio bp has partnered with blue smart to set up ev charging infrastructure jio bp aims to expand its fuel retailing network to 5500 over the next 5 years from the current network of just over 1400 pumps hence it seems the future is very bright for blue smart and it won't be long before they will start replacing ola and uber from people's minds one city at a time and with this i conclude my video thank you so much for watching goodbye